So he told David, he said, pick one, man. And David said, you know what? Lord, you know what? Listen, thou smite me, but do not let me fall into the hand of man. He told the Most High, so he said, I do not want to fall in the hand of man. So what happened? The Most High sent the angel, man. Then the angel stand up right there in the corner, right? Boom. The, the angel got a sword in the hand like this. He pulled it out from the sheep. And he's, boom, he started, you know, killing. You see what I'm saying? Hey, the Most High is not about this shit. People don't understand, man. They don't know what is about to happen yet, man. You see what I'm saying? And the angel, he was, the angel was like chopping and going until the Most High said, you know what? It's enough. I appreciate that. Thank you. Leave them alone now. <laughs> the Most High is not, <laughs> the Most High, man, all praises, all praises, all praises be unto the Most High, Yahweh, man. But these people, man, they don't believe it. They don't believe not even for a second. They don't believe. Right? What did he say? He said, What will you do when the Lord shall visit you? You see, when the Most High visit our people, 70 AD, what happened? You see? 70 AD, wicked and rebellious Negro, and some of the northern kingdom that were left over there, what happened? They were, and listen, millions were put to death. Then millions fled, scattered through our world, the fucking of this earth. Why? Because we won't listen to the Most High, right? We always want to kill the prophet. We want to do our own witness, right? And that's what happened. He said, they that fear the Lord would not disobey his word, you see? And that's why when you go in the book of Acts, let me press up that quick. They that fear the Lord would not disobey his word. Let's go in the book of Acts, chapter 5, verse 29. Let's go to Acts 5, 29. Let's, let's, let's press up it quick. That would be a little bit windy right here. I was here, man. Super windy right here, right? Bear with me. Right, let's go to the book of this is the book of Acts, chapter 5 and verse 29. Then Peter and the other apostle answered and said, We ought to obey God, Yahweh, rather than men. So you gotta keep in mind, you gotta obey the most high and not men. Okay, first and foremost is the most high. So we gotta give glory, thanks, power be unto the most high all the day long. So we gotta obey the most high, not men. Okay, in their weakness, he said, They that fear the Lord will not disobey his word. And they that love him will keep his way. You see, okay, you gotta keep the way of the Most High. You gotta keep the command. You can't just sit down and lie and deceive your own self. You know, bring your own self to death, destruction. No, come on, man. You see what I'm saying? Don't do that. He said, they that fear the Lord will seek that will seek that which is well pleasing. You see, when you fear the Most High. You do what pleases the most. What pleases the most high? You can't eat chancho. You can't eat puerco. You can't eat a, 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 a camarón. You can't eat a rabbit. You cannot eat none of those things. The woman should not wear pain. I mean, and the list goes on, man. The list goes on. It's very simple, plain and simple. Okay, you can't smoke weed. You can't get high. You can't do drugs, right? You can't kill your brother. If you see your brother in the midst of sin, you gotta rebuke your brother or your sister. Whether it be your father, your mother, you gotta rebuke, you gotta let them know. Yo, mom, you can't do that. You know, it goes against the most side. You see what I'm saying? So just make sure the way you say, you gotta say it politely. Because you know our people, man, they're emotional. Because Israel, we've been deceived and built up on emotion. Right now, we're trying to take that cut off. That cut of emotion, feeling, thing like that. And that's the, the main issue we gotta deal with as a nation. Because our people, man, crying baby very fast, man. Our people, boom, let's start crying. Right? Let's continue to say, which is well pleasing in him, unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the love. They that love the most high. But what did they say? The Christian just said the Lord done away with. He said, he said, that's the most high love. The most high love we put in the trash is done away with. That's what they say all the time. That's what Christians say all day long. Right? But let's see what the most high said. Because the word of the most high endure forever. Christ, he's forever. Christ is the word of the most high. He's there forever. Okay, the law will still gonna be established when the kingdom will be reestablished again. We'll still be with the law. Okay, so what make you believe? So if you don't keep the law right now, guess what? You can't keep it in the kingdom because you gotta keep it here first. Now the most I gotta see. Okay, the most I checking. Okay, how many brother keeping the law? All right, all present. How many brother in New York? All right, cool. How many brother in uh, West Virginia? All right. How many brother in Nigeria? All right. How many brother keeping in Jamaica? That's how it's gonna go. You see what is based on that the most high help you. Hey, you ain't keeping the law. You are not filled with the law of the most high. The commandment, guess what? You foolish. That's foolishness right there. That's vain. That's vanity. You see what I'm saying? So let's see what else the most high got to say. He said, What? And they that love him shall be filled with the law. They that fear the law will prepare their heart 
and humble their soul in his sight. And that's what we're doing, man. We try to humble our soul before the most high, Yahweh. That's what we, we're doing right now. That's what we do. And that's what we're trying to let our people know. You got to take away your pride. All right? Be proud. Hey, it's destruction. Pride go before destruction, right? Let's see, he said, he said, and humble the soul in his sight, saying, we will fall into the hands of the Lord and not into the hands of men. And that's why we say that, David. You see what I'm saying? For as his majesty is, so is his mercy. Amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Barakata Yahweh, barakata Yahshai, barakata Yahweh, barakata Yahshai. And that's the point, right? So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to I'm I'm start addressing this doctrine, right? This doctrine, right, mostly, you know, when you come across our people, they'll be talking about, oh, yeah, I'm blessed. You see what I'm saying? People usually, they're quick to say that they are blessed. Now, we're going to take a look at some of these precepts, right? And to give understanding to our people, man, to understand that what is, what is the meaning of blessing? How can somebody be blessed? If, you know, how do you know? Hold up. I open, you see, that's the spirit right there, man. You see? That's the spirit right there. Right? That's the spirit. When you holler at them, Right, they're going to the store, they spend the time, they buy the food. When you holler at them, you say hi to them, they just keep on working. Uh, but we want them to continue to work like that because when Christ comes back, we want them to work like that. So Christ can kill them off. Christ will kill all, all these all these wicked and rebellious. Christ will kill them. They'll be put to death. It's very simple and easy. You see what I'm saying? There's nothing you can do about it. There's nothing you can do about it. That's said on most side, that's said on most side. Okay, you don't want Christ to rule over you? Hey, it's death, man. You see what I'm saying? You don't want the king to rule over you? It's death. All right? It's death, man. Whether you like it, whether you believe it, it's death. All right? That's the most side, that's the most side. That's the most side, and that's the most side. Right? So we're going to address some of some of this precept right here. Because mostly, I'm going to tell a very basic example, right? So when you take a look at people, right? When they buy a car, they say, yeah, I'm blessed, right? Oh, somebody work for the government, they work for the CIA, they say, you know what, I'm blessed. Really? Is that really a blessing according to the Bible? No, it's not a blessing. Okay, what is what is blessing according to the Bible? That's what you got to understand. What is the meaning of somebody being blessed? When can somebody say that, okay, I'm blessed? When can you say that you are blessed? Because you listen from the mainstream Christian, right? Mainstream Christianity, what do they say? They buy a house, they say, you know, oh, oh God bless me, oh, Lord, oh, man. you know, they say, I'm blessed. You know, um, they get a job, hire someone, they say, you know what, I'm blessed. They think they say they're blessed. They get anything, they say, they're, if they buy a dog, they say, I'm blessed. No. Okay. You are under a curse. Mainly if you are so-called black, Latino, and native, Indian, it's not because you work for the government that you are blessed. That's not a blessing. The most already established from the beginning that world, that man is going to eat at his sweat. After Adam sins, when you go in the book of Genesis, okay, and you start reading, guess what? You come to find out to realize that guess what? The most I established already work from the beginning. Okay, when men gotta till the ground, okay, we gotta we gotta grow things. Right? We gotta grow things, we gotta grow tomato, we gotta grow corn, we gotta grow grapes. Right? Our forefathers used to do all those things. Today we're lazy, we don't do those things. Now some people they can get away with because they live in apartment, they can't grow much. Okay, we understand that. Boom. Okay, some people, they don't own land. We understand. He saw all most of the land today. Because since we sin against the most side, we lost all those things. However, they brought it out all land. They live in houses where, you know, they can grow things, they can grow a little bit of things. But they don't want to do it. Because they're too lazy. They just want to go in the store and buy everything. But back in those days, the most side already said that, well, we're going to eat at, at, was, at our, our sweat. When we take a look at Paul, when you go read from Paul in the book of Acts, what did Paul say? Paul, he was a tent builder. Paul, he was like a mason. Paul was like a mason. So understand that. Watch it, hola. Hermano, tiene un minuto con la palabra de Dios. O sea, ese ese cosa más más importante que que Dios. Ese es más importante que Dios. I all present. She said, what she got to do is more important than God. O sea, no tiene tiempo a Dios. Excelente. She said she ain't got no time. You see, that's the thing, man. It's not good. They're always busy body. You see what I'm saying? They're always busy body. Right? They're always busy body. Our people are always busy body. Right? They're always busy body. Right? So, we got to keep that in mind. 
we always got to keep in mind that it's not because, you know, you get this job or somebody hire you for this position here yeah, or, you know, Satan promotes you and you become a manager or Satan promotes you and you become supervisor or you become a CEO. Guess what? That's nothing. That's not a blessing. Understand who you are. The most I, if you are so-called black, Latino, and native Indian, okay, keep in mind, right? You are under curses, okay? So you got to work on how to remove those curses by repenting and keeping the law, the commandment of the Most High. That's what the Most High say. So if you be under curses, under the curses, because you're quick to say, okay, yeah, that's the Most High law, guess what? But when Christ came and died and was resurrected the third day, right? After three days and three nights, guess what? He never said when he came to the, to the prophet and to the apostle, he never told them that, okay, you know what? Hey, listen, man, the curses, Written in the book of Leviticus 26 and Deuteronomy chapter 28 are taken away. No more curses. You're good. You're under the grace. You do whatsoever you want to do and you'll be saved. No, Christ never said that. Actually, when Christ came, he made it a little bit harder. He made it more harsher. Concerning the law, he made it more harsher. But a lot of people don't understand because they kept on lying. They kept on deceiving themselves. They kept on listening to lying pastor, wicked pastor, talk to your pastor. They kept on listening to these wicked people claiming to be a pastor. You see what I'm saying? I don't know who they're leading, but they lead the blind because they're blind themselves. Christ said, Leave them alone, leave them alone. They'll be the leader of the blind. They'll be blind themselves. They're leading who the blind or praise to the most high. So it's not because you get a job or you get promoted by Satan why you become this and this. You say, Yeah, I'm blessed. No, that's my blessing. Understand that. You got to go read in the Bible what is blessing? What is the real meaning of blessing? And it's not because, you know, you just bought a house. Okay? You just bought a house with credit. You know, the bank allows you to say, oh, yeah, we accept your, your credit or, oh, you know, the universe or all this credit. They say, yeah, you got a good credit, blah, 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 all this. And guess what? You bought a house and then all of a sudden you start celebrating. You say, you know what? Oh, I'm, I'm blessed. I just know that's not a blessing. Understand that? That's not a blessing. We don't call that a blessing. It's not because you bought a Lamborghini, okay? Or you're a movie star. You say you're a blessing. No, that's not a blessing. Understand what is blessing. Let's read in the Bible what is blessing. So first and foremost, let's go right here. Let's go right here. We'll start from the book of Luke, right? Let's go to the book of Luke, by right? Chapter 8, verse 21. Let's go to Luke, chapter 8, verse 21. Actually, no, let's start with Psalm. Let's go to Psalm. We'll go to Psalm, chapter 1. Let's go to the book of Psalm, and let's see what is the meaning of blessed. Who is blessed? Okay? It's not because you work for uh, uh, Microsoft, okay? It's not because you work for uh, Sony or you work for, uh, 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 um, let me see, you work for uh, Wrangler, okay? It's not because you, you work for, let me see, let me give you another example. It's not because you work for the CIA, the FBI, right? Or you work for this IT company where you make 100, 100, 100 million. No, listen, that's not a blessing. Huh? Blessing? I show you what is blessing. Let's see what the most I say. Right? So understand from today, if you are so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian, and because you got a job, you got this, and you think that, okay, I'm blessed. Okay? Oh, because you just got a job. Oh, listen, that's not a blessing. Let me show you what is blessing. Okay, let's read it. This is the book of Psalm, chapter 1, and verses 1. It says, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. So you got to walk in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay, you got to walk out, walk away from the counsel of the ungodly. Who is ungodly? Anyone who does not keep the law, the commandment of the Most High. Right? So you should be making friends. You should be, you know, trying to hang out with people like that. Yo, bro. Yo, bro. You got a minute, bro? You ain't got no minute for God? You don't believe in God? You do, bro? You do? I all present. He said, I do buy. He said, she ain't got no money for the most high. Ah, you see, he ain't got no money for the most high. Not the kingdom, man. Not the kingdom, busy. He ain't got no money for the, for the most high. <laughs> Our people, man. Our people, they don't know any better, man. Our people, foolish. They're wasted. You see what I'm saying? Wasted. Nothing else, man. Right, so let's see what he said. He said, blessed the man that walking not in the counsel of the ungodly. So if satan or your government somebody telling you to to go get satan job guess what you you cannot say you're blessed because you receive satan job no you're walking in the council of the ungodly like you're eating pork who told you to eat pork the weekend is your edom your mama your papa 
your auntie, your grandma told you it's okay. Pork is yummy. Then you believe it. He said you are not blessed. The most I say you are not blessed. As long as you're living in the midst of sin and you're hanging out with wicked people, the most I say you are not blessed. Let's read it. Because that's a quick Christian quick to say I'm blessed. Because they bought a new car. They, they just bought a, a, a 2022 or 2021 Kia. Uh, 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 or they just bought a 2021 uh, uh, Sobro. Or they just bought, bought a 2021 Honda or Mitsubishi. Or they say, ah, I'm, I'm blessed. Or, or maybe the children just graduated from the from uh, Harvard University. They say, oh, you see, I'm blessed. Oh, no, no, that's not a blessing. Understand that? That's not a blessing. Let's see what is the blessing again, man, from the Most High. Let, let's ask the Most High. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 1, and verse 1. He said, Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinner. So you can't be with sinner. Okay, you hang it out with sinner. You do all type of filthy thing with sinner. And you say, I'm blessed. Oh, I'm blessed. Look, God bless me. Ah, my children. Oh, blah, blah, blah. He said, no, man, you ain't blessed. Understand that? That's not a blessing. Okay? He said, now sitting in the seat of the scornful. So, until you come out from all those stuff. You don't open your mouth and say you're blessed. Okay? Satan's doing work for you and you think that's the most. That's Satan. Satan, he does a lot of stuff. Satan, he's the prince of life. Satan's doing miracles. When you see the miracle, you think it's the most high. He said, that. Well, is he working for the most high? Yes. But on the left hand side. Now you gotta be spiritual to understand that. Okay? The most high he created good and, and what? And evil. Light and darkness. He created life and death. He wounded and he healed. So you gotta understand the most high he balances everything. Now those that will be in the light are those that will listen and obey the most high. They return from the sin, the iniquity, the weakness they used to do. They come out from me and they serve the most high. Then that's how the most high is going to show you. Let's go right here. Let's go right here in the book of Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Let's go in the last book. Right. Let's go in the book of Revelation. Let's see what Yahweh Shia Mashiach, he got to tell us. When can somebody say that they're blessed? When can somebody say they're blessed? Can I just say anytime that I'm blessed because I bought a car? Because I bought a new house, I just open my mouth and say, you know, I'm blessed. God bless me. No. What is what is me to be blessed? What is the blessing? How do you know that somebody's blessed? How do you know? Let's read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verses 3. It's a bad is he that read it. So if you don't read the Bible, you are not blessed. Okay? You gotta read the Bible to be blessed. Okay? You gotta read the Bible. Okay. So, you know, you two, you know, keep in mind, man, the music again is going in the background. Disclaimer is not my music. I'm not playing it. I do not need it. I don't want it anywhere they're playing it right there. I, I can't do anything about it. I can't tell them to stop it. Okay, so keep in mind. This is not my music. I do not need it. I don't need none from me. Keep in mind. This is not my music. I'm not claiming. I'm not playing it. Okay, I'm doing my work and they just start playing the music again. So keep that in mind. I just want to put it out there for you two. Okay, so this is the book of Revelation. Chapter 1 and verses 3 again. He said, Blessed he that read it, and they that hear the words of his prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. So you gotta keep in mind. Okay, you are not blessed until you grab the Bible and you read the Bible. If you don't have one, you're gonna need to buy one. KJV Bible, King James Version. Now, if you, you don't you don't speak English, you need to make sure you get yourself a French Bible, right? Like one of this one right here. Right, like one of this one right here. This is the French Bible right here. Okay, it's called La Bible de Jerusalem. La Bible de Jerusalem. Okay, right. Edition is served. Right, La Bible de Jerusalem. Okay, hola. Ah, right, you see, you say hi to people and they keep on walking because it's the dog that is talking to them. It's good. We like that spirit. We want them to keep it like that. When you holler at them, that's the point. So you can get yourself a Bible. If you speak Spanish, you want to get yourself, you know, a decent Bible as well. Right? If you speak Spanish, right, you can get yourself one of these Bibles, right? This edition is from the Catholic Church, okay? Right? This edition is from the Catholic Church. So keep in mind, right, you need to get yourself a Bible, right? Hard copy Bible, right? So you can refer to it. You can go to open it, okay? So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. He say, blessed he that read it. So until you buy a Bible and you're reading it, then you are not blessed. Understand that. You are, you are a curse. Okay? You are a curse. Until you keep in the Lord the commandment of the Most High. Okay? You got to read it. He say, blessed he that read it, or he or she, 
and they that hear the word of this prophecy. So he said, I'm right here teaching the word of the Most High. And these people, they're walking past by me. They're walking past by me and going to and fro. Guess what? These people, they're going to say that they are blessed. These people, they, are, they, are, they, are they going to say that they are blessed? No, these people are cursed, man. These people are literally, they cursed before the Most High. They cursed. Because we're bringing out the word of the Most High right here. And they'll be proud, right? They'll be proud, acting up. They think like they know it up. You know, you say hi to them and they're all, they're all lunching, they're all going up because they're the wicked. You see what I'm saying? They're the wicked, right? They're the wicked all day long 24 7 because they hit the most side. You see what I'm saying? They hit the most side, right? They hit the most side. They hit the most side. So, so until you keep the commandment, you are not blessed, okay? Until you read the Bible, you are not blessed. That's the opposite. You are a curse, okay? He said, and keep those things which are written there. So for you to say that you are blessed, you got to make sure you're keeping the law, the commandment of the Most High. It's not because you bought a brand new car. It's not because you just got hired and your salary will be like 20 million every, every hour, every month. Or you're going to be making 100 six figure because you just drop a pipe, you just drop an album and you sign a deal, a contract with Satan. So you're going to be making million. Is that why you, 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 you say you're blessed? No. That blessing that you were taught in the church, in the Christian church, is opposite. It's against the Bible. Okay, that blessing is not from the Bible. That's doctrine of man. Because so you got a job. You're working here. I'm blessed. No, you ain't no blessed. Okay, you are a curse. Understand that we, as a nation, the so-called blacks, Latino, and Native Indian, we are under the curses. Okay? And we got to work. We got to stay diligent and make sure we repent and we keep in the law of the commandment. So stop deceiving yourself. Stop killing your own self and claiming and saying that you've been blessed. You ain't no blessed yet. Understand that. Okay? Until you fully wake up, you repent, you ain't blessed yet. You gotta repent and you'll be keeping the law, the commandment of the most high. Okay? So understand that you got a lot of prayer that you gotta take care of. He said, Well, and keep those things which are written there for the time is at hand. So the time is at hand, right? The time is at hand. So you gotta understand that. Keep that in mind that the time is at hand. The time is at hand. Hola, Señor. Tell un minuto por la palabra de Dios. All uh, right, let's go to Revelation 22 uh, and 14. Let's go to the same book. We'll stay in the same book. Let's go to Re Re Revelation 22 and verse 14. All right, let's read it. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 22 and verse 14. It said, Blessed are they that do his command. So you are not blessed because you got a car, because you work for, for Microsoft. I'm going to keep on repeating. You are not blessed because you got children, because you got a wife, you got a big house, you work over here. You No, that's not a blessing. You understand that? That's basics. Because guess what? When you wake up every day, you see the son of the Most High. The son of the Most High rise above on the wicked and on the righteous. Okay, when it's windy, it's windy both for the righteous and the wicked. So it's not because you're driving a nice car, you got big houses that you say you're blessed. You are not blessed. Understand, you are a curse. You are the curse. A blessing does not mean because, you know, you got a big, a fat bank account, all this. Thing. That's not a blessing. Understand. You'll be blessed only and only if, only and only if you keep the law, the commandment of the Most High. That's the only time you need to open your mouth and say that you're blessed. You're reading the law, the commandment of the Most High. You're keeping them. You are not working with sinner. You are not working in the way of the scornful. Listen, you got to pour those things, all those into work. Until that, you are not a blessed. You are not blessed, buddy. Okay, I just want to give you that so you be aware of it. So you be, oh, I'm blessed. <laughs> Jesus bless me. Hallelujah. <laughs> no, man. Okay, understand that. Let me read it again. He said, Blessed are they that do his commandments. So you got to do it. If you don't do the commandment of the Most High, you are not blessed. If you are so called black, Latino, and Native Indian, and you don't keep the commandment of God, you are not blessed. Okay? If you are so called Latino and Negro and you don't keep God's commandment, guess what? You are a curse. You are a curse. Understand that. Okay? It's a blessed that they that do his commandment, that they may have right to the tree of life. You know what is the tree of life? Eternal life, man. Eternal life. Eternal life. Even though you die right now, when your house shall return, you're going to live forever. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a blessing? How can you be a blessing? How can you be blessed if you don't keep the commandment? How can you make it to the kingdom? How can you have eternal life if you don't keep the commandment? Okay? Let us continue. He said, well, and may enter into the gate, into the city. That's the only occasion. That's the only, listen, that's the only occasion. There's no between. 
Let's go between. All right, let's keep on rolling. Because a lot of people out there, they don't know, and they're quick to say things. Yeah, I'm a blessed. Let's see right here. I'm going to show you another one. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah 17. Let's see. Let's see. Who's talking about you being blessed because you bought a house, you know, because your daughter or your son just got graduated from Harvard University, blah, blah, blah. You made good money. We'll buy this, we'll buy. And you say, oh, I'm blessed. You ain't no blessed, okay? That's foolishness right there. <laughs> Let me show you what is blessing. Let me show you when somebody is literally blessed, okay? Not talking nonsense, garbage, weakness, being deceived. No, man. Let's see when somebody is blessed. Let's see. Let's go in the book of Jeremiah. So the Moshe will tell us. This is the book of Jeremiah, okay? This is the book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, and we're going to read verses 5 through 6, right? Let me just read verse 7. It says, Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. So you see, you are not blessed until you trust in the Most High. You got to trust in Yahweh through who? Yahweh Shammashiach. Our Lord and Savior, King Yahweh Shammashiach. You cannot trust in the Most High directly to the Most High. No, you can't do that. Why? Because we got war. We got war. We got a, an ambassador. Who is our ambassador before the Most High? It's Christ. Yahweh Shammashiach. Yahweh Shammashiach. Yahweh Shammashiach. He's our ambassador before the Most High. He's our consul. Right? He's all that we need. For he was that lame that will find worthy. Whose blood was shed on the tree in order to give you salvation. So guess what? You only be blessed through who? Through who? Amashiach. Only what? Let's see. Blessed is the man that trusts in the Lord. So you gotta trust in the most high with your full mind, your full spirit, your full body. Not between, not worshiping the sun on some day. Okay, not doing lead services unto the most high. Oh Lord Jesus, you know. Oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus, oh Lord Jesus. No, none of He said, none of none of those things. The most high is not with it. Okay. Bless him. He said, Well, bless is the man that trusts in the Lord. So if you don't trust in the most high and you trust in your doctor, you trust in your dentist, you trust in the government, you are a curse. That's what the scripture says. Let me read it to you. He said, Bless is the man that trusts in the Lord and whose hope the Lord is. So whatsoever you need, you've been sick, you get any disease, whatsoever you pray, you call on the most high. You have you you being faithful, the most high will heal you. The most high heal our forefather. Our forefather didn't go to the hospital back in those days. They received natural medicine. Maybe the leaves, roots, you know, back of tree, things like that. Natural medicine. You see what I'm saying? All natural. They went to our forefather. They know okay, use the do that. Yeah, boil this, drink it, and they, and they got healed. Right? They got healed. They 